Hello, Divine Masculines. How y'all doing? Anyone who's new, welcome to Deep Soul Tribe. My name is Kelly. Welcome back to anyone who's returning. For my tribe returning, I appreciate it. For all you Divine Masculines out there, maybe Divine Feminines who's listening about your Divine Masculine, we are going to do your reading today. For you, those of you who don't know, this is Remy, my sidekick, my mentor, my little mascot, my assistant. And Remy is here to remind you to subscribe and join the tribe. Okay, because I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you are on a twin flame journey, or curious about them at least. And just so you know that I shall be doing, I do these fairly regularly, and I think I may be doing them much more regularly. I'm feeling a strong calling to do them. And um, so I do love reads and everything else. So subscribe, join the tribe, hit that bell button, and you'll get notifications of all those videos that I do, that I upload. In particular, Twin Flame readings, if that's what you're into. Okay. So we're going to get some Oracle cards here to Divine Masculines to get you an idea of where you are at on your journey right now. I just did a collective read, and I did the Feminines read, which um, you might want to check those out. Okay. I'm going to see if any cards... One more shuffle here, and then I'll cut the deck. Well, we'll see if any cards come out. So I'm going to take... I'm going to cut the deck here. I'll take the top three cards off the top. Bottom of the deck will be general energy. And we'll see if we have any repeating cards. Because we have a, a couple of repeating cards. Specifically one in the Divine Feminine. So we're going to do one, two. And I'm going to do the general energy first. I'm doing yours a little bit different. Not different, but I mean I had already put those up. But we'll see. Potential. Potential Divine Masculines. And release. Wow. Ooh, boy. I want to see what's under release because new beginnings. Okay. I'm just I'm just going to potential. Under that is release, which was in the Twin Flame Collective, which I felt was the masculine side. It wasn't meant that way. And you have new beginnings and under that oh crap. <laughs> and under that you may have some rough waters. You're on a voyage. You're on some sort of a voyage. Okay. So. Made a mess here. Okay. Let's start with potential, shall we? And then we'll work our way back. Potential. Whatever situation you are in right now, Divine Masculines. Something's about to erupt. Something is about to erupt. I'm hearing that you are embarking on a, as it says, a voyage, but I'm hearing journey. A journey right now, Divine Masculines, where, um, depending on how you handle the situation, you have a lot of potential for new beginnings. New beginnings, and you need to release something. And you know what I'm going to do? I don't really have the room for this, but I am going to put these cards, and we put them in the order that they were under, under the deck. So these are, uh, this was the card, the card on the bottom of the deck. Just, I don't know if you can see these. And then, as you, as I pulled cards from underneath the deck. So I went from potential to release to new beginnings and a voyage. Okay? And the reason I'm leaving those out right now is because this situation ship, situation ship you are in, Divine Masculine, there's a lot of potential for growth. But in order to have that potential and new beginnings, you have to release something. So... As this card was in the, the, and I strongly encourage you to watch the Twin Flame Collective at least video that I have out, that I released, just released, and just uploaded, and then I just did the Divine Feminine, which is uploaded. You can check that out too, um, you know, on your journey. Or if you're a Divine Feminine watching about your Divine Masculines, you might want to check those two out yourself. And also, um, there's a lot of potential here for you. And in that reading, I felt like you were in a karmic relationship. And I still feel like you're in a karmic relationship. You need to release something. And I do feel, I do believe it's time now for you to exit that. There's a lesson to be learned here. And it's time to exit. And I do feel like you're caught. Because it, you were at a standstill. And the last reading, you were at a standstill. And uh, there's more details in there, so do watch that video. Um, but in order to have new beginnings, you have potential for new beginnings. And you're on embarking on a voyage 
of a brand new chapter in your life. But you are to stand still. You can't you can't move forward until you release something. And I'm strongly hearing it's your karmic relationship. Now, so that's the general energies from the bottom of the deck, starting with this one and working our way into the deck. The bottom of the deck. These are from the top of the deck. So we have taking risks. Ah, that was in there too. Interesting. I mean, there's a whole stack of cards in this deck. And it's funny how some of the same cards. Simplicity and adventures. All right, the Divine Masculine. This is almost pretty cut and dry for me. The taking risks, it's as if you're standing on the cliff and you really, you can never really be sure of the future. And sometimes you just have to go almost blindly, but it's like a blind faith. All right. So it's like, it's almost like you're afraid to jump off the cliff. You're afraid to release yourself or release someone from your life or release yourself from a situation and take that risk. But here's the thing. When you jump, take the leap of faith. When you take that leap of faith and jump off the cliff. And again, I almost see this card is like hang gliding. You know, it's a little, if you've never hang glided before, the minute you step off that cliff and um, it's like a, an adrenaline rush in a way. If you're anything like me, like adrenaline rushes, I've never hang glided, but I would like to. Um, but you're going to soar. You're going to soar. It's just that initial step off the cliff. And it's a little scary. You know, that's a pretty big cliff there. So this is a pretty big step you're taking. All right? But you have to take that chance. You have to take that chance. You're going to fly. You're going to soar. And I'm, I'm hearing that you are very much a free spirit. So this is going to be liberating for you. Very liberating. There's a lot of potential for beginnings here. And, but in order to embark on that, this voyage and to have these new beginnings, you have to release something. It's in its simplicity. It's simple. And you're going to feel light as a feather. I mean, really? And you're going to have much, many more adventures, whether it is with you meeting new people. Um, and by doing all of this, Divine Masculines, you are opening up portals and gateways to become in union with your Divine Feminine. You know, and if you have not met your divine feminine yet, you're opening up the portals and gateways to allow that to happen. All right. We're going to clarify these. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave those there. I hope I don't run out of room. <laughs> what can you tell me, Spirit, about the divine masculine taking risks? What's the energy of taking risks? Maybe what risks? What steps divine masculine needs to take? And again, this has this is not gender specific. These readings, first of all, are timeless. Time is an illusion and energy is fluid. These all flow forward. This is being recorded in March, but it, it in no way has to be uh, happening in March. You know, this is the energies from March moving forward. So if you're watching this at a later date, have no fear. These are timeless. So whenever you are guided to watch this and you click on it, it's most likely when there's a message in it for you, especially if this resonates. Okay. <laughs> I'm not taking all these cards, but I will take this one. <laughs> I will take this one. Um, I was almost going to take this. I'm not going to the star, but there's wish fulfillment and self healing. I want to see, and I'm sticking in the middle of the deck. And you see, I stuck it in the middle of the deck. Okay, so it's not on the top, not on the bottom. All right, just so you know. But if it comes out, we'll know that was an important card. And that one was kind of sticking out from the rest. The fool. There's your leap of faith. That's. Take a risk. It's simple. Take a leap of faith. Do you? I think you know you need to do this. You're going to have to take that risk if you want to move forward. Otherwise, you're going to be, as it said, it was that you were at a standstill. It standstill and release were the two that were on the opposite side, which I felt was masculine energy. It was a collective, so I read it both ways. But I strongly felt it was masculine energy, and I think it was. And the same thing happened with the feminine. There were there was a card that that uh, showed up for the feminine that was in that reading. I think these are connected. Again, energy is fluid. It's connected. You need to take a leap of faith. And you're going to be, you're going to feel so much lighter. It's like you're walking on air. Seriously. I mean, you have, you have this little, this little leprechaun with his little pipe, not a care in the world, walking on rainbows. Come on. You take this risk. You take a leap of faith. You do what you need to do. And you're going to feel light as a feather. And it's just going to lead to more adventures. It's just good things. 
This, you know, just think of this as a whole new adventure for you. A whole new beginning. Simplicity. What's the energy of simplicity? This is all very cut and dry. The Divine Feminine wasn't quite cut and dry, cut and dry but um, this is awesome. All right, simplicity. What is the energy of this one? Mm -hmm. Four of Cups. You're resistant for something. Maybe you're resisting change. Because the Four of Cups is different in the Tarot deck. It's like you're, you're holding on to the emotion. You're holding on to this cup. You're not quite willing to let go yet. So this person is almost to me like a Zen, a meditation. Four of Cups. Think about it. Really think about it. And this is the uh, Tris Triskelion? I think that's how you say it. This is the mind, body, spirit, or the mind, body, and soul. Um, you need to really get in tune with yourself and in ways you are being resistant and resilient to some sort of change to lightening the load okay at the bottom of the deck you're going to have victory you're going to have victory you are being resistant and it's unnecessary you know this this is a karmic relationship and you want to exit the relationship it's never fun okay i things were falling but that's just a whole half a deck there um it's never fun to be the person to break up with someone. I've had to do it. Look at that. This card wanted to come out. It was in the middle of the deck, hanging from the middle of the deck. Six of Wands came out again. There's your victory. You're going to be victorious. You're worrying over... And there's the levers. There's the levers. That came out, too, for the... the uh, I'm not sure if it was the Divine Feminist reading or the Collective. It might have been the... Hmm, I don't know. I think it might have been the Divine Feminines. There was a whole bunch of sixes. It was the Six of Cups, the, the Six, the Six of Pentacles, and the Six, I think, of Wands. It was like all four sixes. It was really bizarre, actually. And then three. Um, you're having to make a choice. And here's the thing, Divine Masculine. Because this is kind of a hard choice, in a way. Because when you look at the Lover's card, there is... This could be... This could be... Um, also, e, trying to balance out your, your masculine and feminine energy. So, if you're the divine masculine, you think more maybe analytically, more logically. You try not to let emotions affect your decisions. But sometimes you have to tap into what does your heart really want. And by resisting, do you want to stay in a karmic relationship that may actually end up hurting you in the long run? That's not really, you're not compatible with this person? Or... It's almost like you're you're looking towards um, you're paying attention more to what you're thinking rather than what you're feeling. You're ignoring what you're fe really feeling deep in your heart. Is that what you really want? You have to make a decision here. Stay in a karmic relationship, or and by doing that, basically turning your back on your twin flame journey. Keep working at it. It's a work in progress. That's what I'm hearing. It's a work in progress. This isn't going to happen overnight. You know, twin flame journey is very difficult. You know? Okay. Um, let's get... Now, this is this is going pretty quick. It was, the Divine Feminist was a little bit longer, but because I had to clarify a little more. Um, I mean, this is pretty straightforward here. Honestly, take risks. Take a chance. Simplicity. Maybe some meditation to think about it. Be zen with yourself. You know, be at one with yourself. Just be. That's what I'm hearing. Just be. Okay? All right. So, I'm going to get some messages from Spirit. Three cards, please, Spirit. This is almost like some um, straight from messages from Spirit. Some guidance. What you may need to know. Some wisdom. Steps you may need to take. There's one. Two. Well, I think that's more than, but those wanted to come up. All right, so, I don't know how those came out, but well, I'm going to try to do them in order, but it doesn't really matter, honestly. Oh, yes. You are being resistant. You're being resistant to something. You're almost feeling like you have to defend yourself, that you're being pushed up against the wall. You see how this person is being pushed up against the wall, but the door is actually open. You just don't see it. These are 
These are either people coming at you or battles that you feel like you have to fight. You don't have to. You can turn around and walk away from that and walk through that door. You don't have to be defending yourself. You don't have to be resistant. You are hurting yourself and your twin flame connection by staying with this karmic person. Because the Wheel of Fortune. And if you don't spin, you don't win. You got to you gotta walk away from this karmic situation. I think the karmic lesson is done with. Um, and, and you can't move forward until you walk away and move forward. You've, you've, you've been through this karmic relationship. It's time to get out and, and move forward and onto new lessons, new chapter of your life. If you don't spin, there's a wheel can turn in your favor, but you have to spin the wheel in order to win. If you don't even give it, a, if you don't even step up to spin, it's just going to be heartache after heartache and disappointment after disappointment. And if you truly want to be with your twin flame at some point, um, and we're all on this journey, uh, and it's all about a divine timing. Um, but you're being too resistant and too resilient um, with the Four of Pentacles and now the Seven of Wands. Um, stand your ground, though. You, you may need to set up some barriers with this person and say, Listen, I, d I don't want to be in this connection anymore. I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. And if that's what it is, I'm, I'm hearing, though, that you need to release something. And if it isn't a relationship, it may be some, some toxic thoughts that you have. We'll see. Let's see what else we have here. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Seven of Cups. I'm hearing Divine Masculine that you really would like to communicate with your Divine Feminine. But you're having a hard time making a choice. And the reason being is, you know, you're... you're are probably still in this relationship and here we have again the six the lovers is about yes it's a love situation but it's making a choice it's like almost like you have to choose between your karmic and doing what's best for your whole twin flame connection it's not like you're going to necessarily be in union with your twin but i'm thinking you want to communicate with your twin Either that or you're having a hard time making a choice communicating with your karmic. But I'm hearing more. This is more so your twin. Yeah. There's the emotional. The king of cups and the nine of cups. There's the love. Lots of love here. If you have met your twin flame here in the third dimension on earth, you do have a lot of love for your twin. And this is about... So you're caught in your thoughts. The king of cups is all about... The king of cups is emotional. He's got emotions. He has love for someone. He has a hard time expressing himself, and he gets caught in his thoughts. But this is about emotional maturity. When you move on from this karmic, when you take the steps to release this from your life, that's the maturity. I'm an adult. I'm going to talk to this person like an adult. Whether they react badly or not, that's their problem. Just talk to them. Let them know what's going on. You know, talk to them and, and express what's on your mind. Because... Uh, there's the emotional maturity. That's the adult way of handling with things. Not avoiding it. Not just trying to see if the other person does it. This is something that's good for you. And you will be content. Then you will you will realize after this is done and over. That you made the right decision. But you have to do it first. It's all about communication. And then you can decide if you in fact want to contact your divine feminine. And do a communication. I'm hearing you do want to, but let's get an animal spirit message for you, Divine Masculine. Let's see what kind of stance you might need to take. The crab. Show your emotions and regenerate love. <gasps> Butterfly. Delight in life and embrace change as the source of your creativity. And see, like I said, you're very much a free spirit. I do feel like you're a free spirit. You like, you're going to... You want your freedom back. That's what you want right now. You want your freedom back. You want the freedom back to communicate with someone else, even if it's not your twin. You want the freedom to be able to do that. And maybe this is a, a karmic person who's it's, it's, it's toxic, it's codependent. Maybe they're uh, possessive and jealous, and it's not something that you can deal with. Who can? But you're like a little butterfly. You're going through the change, and it's time to emerge from the cocoon. It's time to emerge from the cocoon. And... you. What emerges from a cocoon? 
You go from the larva, the pupa, the larva. I don't know how the direction it goes. I think it's pupa larva. And then eventually you shed out of the cocoon and you're a beautiful butterfly. And that's where you are. You're stuck in the cocoon right now. But what Spirit is saying, it's time to come out. Don't sit in there and suffocate and die. Come out. Breathe the air. Fly. Go to the flowers. Enjoy life. There's so much potential out there. Potential. Simplicity. Fly like a feather that's blown in the wind. Delight in life and embrace change as a source of your creativity. It's going to open up um, delight. You're going to be happier. You're going to feel like there's been a weight lifted. You're going to embrace the change that's coming. And it's going to bring new beginnings. And it's going to make your creative juices flow. Maybe you're a very creative person. Crab, show your emotions and regenerate love. And it could be your twin. Regenerate love. That's the king of king of uh, cups. Share your emotions. Maybe you've been caught in your head. Maybe you wanted to reach out to your twin, your divine feminine. And you wanted to express how you feel. Maybe you're feeling very strong emotions right now, strong connection. And there's really nothing wrong with contacting your twin. The options are endless. Once you release something. Just saying. All right, let's get a... Because we just had a full moon, I'm going incorporating the Queen of the Moon Oracle cards. And I looked at just... Oh, 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 oh. Divine Masculine, what the fuck? Card number 42. You are present here. You are present here and very strong. Very, very strong. The Lunar God. You're the man, Divine Masculine. Are you the man? You're the masculine. It doesn't matter your gender, so you could be female with the masculine energy. I'm just saying. Um, look up here. The cycle. These are the, like the cycles of the moon. All right. Transformation. Transformation. And this is the full moon, but we're going towards a new moon. Now is the time, divine masculine. This is, this is you. I mean, you are here in this reading. It's like you are taking, um, not taking control, but taking, uh, um, <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm so excited for y'all. Um, step forward and take control of your life. Nobody else should be telling you what to do or making you feel like you do a certain thing a certain way. You do what's best for you. And in that process, it's as if you are almost regenerating your love with your twin flame, even if you aren't in communication, even if you aren't in physical contact, if you aren't seeing each other, it still is regenerating the love that you have for your twin. It's like I, I denounce this karmic relationship I am in, this karmic collect connection, whatever it may be, situation, and I'm moving forward, I'm moving on for myself and my twin. So by doing it for yourself, first and foremost, you are also doing it for your twin. Does that make sense? It's not like you don't do it just for your twin, do it for yourself. And in, in the same time, you are affecting the connection with your twin in a positive way. Fruition. It's good. There's the moon again. Um, this is card number 37. The harvest moon. Things are going to come to fruition by you doing it. By releasing. All you need to do is release. You're going to feel so much lighter. Okay, these are the, um, uh, the enchanted map oracles. Okay, so this is kind of like steps. Something maybe you can focus on at this point moving forward. Right too. This is whizzing right through, Divine Masculine. It's just straightforward message for you. Spirit knew exactly what you needed to hear, what needs to go on. Dragon's Lair. Let's see what we have here. This is card number 19, Dragon's Lair. Look at that. It's like you're in your own castle. You are the king of your castle. And it looks as if there's water all the way around. With solitude comes strength, I'm hearing. All right. Anywho. Anywho. Dragon's Lair. You are always protected and divinely directed. You have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. You are about to enter dangerous territory, so tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path you're on now is one that will challenge you to the core. That said... Peril is also exciting and exhilarating. 
like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life fully lived, a life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling to you, one that will test your courage. The choice is yours, but there is greater value in risk in risk taking. What? There is greater value in risk taking than remaining unchallenged. Now, new territories are waiting to be discovered. You know, forget I'm even here. The cards are saying it all, Divine Masculine. They're saying it all. Take the risk. You gotta take risks. You gotta spin the wheel in order to win. I'm just going to read the card from the bottom of the deck, too. I think there's time. I think I have extra time here. And the card under that is come together, number eight. I mean, I could just go on and on here, but one ring circus is underneath the deck, the, the bottom of the deck energies, number 15. You are capable and competent. Independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resource, resources that you need. Recognize that all the wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent capable of moving forward with assurance self-reliance is important another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another be discerning about your partnerships at this time when you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you end and others begin you're able to enter into the best kind of relationships and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness Interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating, and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. Divine Masculine. Independence. It's, I think you know this, though. I, don't, I don't really don't think you need anyone to tell you this, that this is something you need to do. You have adventures waiting for you. New experiences. Um, and Spirit is telling you very loudly. You're going to have victory. You know, this is maybe not a pleasant situation. If you have to go through a breakup, it's not pleasant, but it's necessary. You know, it's part of life, you know. Um, just like death is a part of life, but with death comes rebirth. You know, like they say, for every death that happens in the world, there are new new babies or there's rebirth. Just So just in like things in life, when things end in life, it's a chance for rebirth. A transformation, a chance to be reborn and become anew. And this is what you're going through, Divine Masculine. You got the power. There's your cycle. It's time to move forward. New moon is coming. It's time for new beginnings. And a new chapter in your life. Which will hence open up the portals and gateways to bring you closer to union with your twin flame whenever that is meant to happen. Karmic lesson, karmic relationship, karmic lesson. Time to move on. Lesson learned, move on. Right? Right, Divine Masculines? This is a fairly short video. I didn't expect the other one was a little bit longer. But again, I had to kind of clarify things. It wasn't quite as clear. This one is crystal clear. It's all about taking chances, taking risks, and releasing something. And new beginnings, potential for... You're, you're like on a new voyage here. You know, take off. Take off. Wow. All right. Divine Masculines and the, the Divine Feminines, if you're listening to this, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it so much. And if you did like this and it resonated, I am asking you to hit that, that like button. Smash it for me, please, so I can get some feedback. And I know that you like this. I know that it resonated. And um, I will do more videos like this. Hey, hey, hey. Let's keep the sign and, it, you know, we're going to have to have a little talk this weekend, Remy. <laughs> Remy's been a good assistant, but he is new. Um, you know, you're doing a good job, Remy. You are. We just double. We have to. We have to get on the same page about certain things here. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm crazy. See, um, and I encourage you to subscribe and join the tribe. Hit that bell button because if you're on a twin flame journey, I will have many more twin flame videos. Uh, I don't know how often. It could even be as much as weekly. 
depending on how much time I have. I'm figuring out another, I keep tweaking my schedule, but I'm trying to incorporate these, and I have a couple of other things I want to do. You know, I like to do different things, so I get bored if I do the same thing. So I kind of like to switch it up here and there. I mean, I'm even thinking about doing Chinese astrology readings, you know, to find out your, you can, and I'll be including links about that if I do do that, if I do those, um, to find out your, and you just have to know your birth year, your month, yes, you have to enter your month because there's a cutoff point in each certain month, but, um, and I will eventually put links in that too, but I just thought that would be kind of cool to do like a, I don't know, a Chinese whatever reading, and I'm looking into I Ching, and just different things, just different things for, but for right now, I'm focusing on these, and I, again, feel very strongly about doing the Twin Flame um, readings right now, so I am focusing on this, so, you know, you subscribe and join the tribe, and you hit that little bell button, you'll get notifications when these come up, and any other videos you may be interested in, and you never know when there may be a message in there for you, seriously. And these are timeless. So even if you don't have time during the week, I, I'm not up early and I am on the West Coast. So if you're on the East Coast, it comes out later for you. I know people go to school, people work, people have lives, families. So even if you watch these videos like on the weekend, but it's something that was recorded during the week or at a certain date, these are timeless. It doesn't matter. You know, so you can watch those and you can still get messages from that. I just want to make that, that clear, you know, and I, I do that. You know, sometimes I don't get the chance to watch all, I can't watch all the readers that I do like all at one time. Uh, I, you know, I watch one regularly in the morning and, you know, then I can save weekends for those that I may have missed. Uh, but anyways, um, and I would love to have you comment down below. I would love to hear from you. You want more Twin Flame readings? Let me know. You like more love readings? Let me know. If you have a certain read that you like particularly that isn't love or Twin Flame, let me know. <laughs> um, let me know <laughs> anything anything you want to put down there uh, if this resonated let me know um, I would appreciate that feedback is very much appreciated uh, I would love to hear comments uh, if you're interested in live reads again I'm on Instagram I will definitely set that up then if you're into that if you want to follow me on Instagram and that's something you'd be interested in, in joining in then I will try to arrange that and you know we'll have to wait for YouTube unless you all subscribe the sooner we get there the sooner I can do it on YouTube just saying just saying Help each other out here. Okay. And share. To anyone you know who's on a twin flame journey, maybe people you don't even know, aren't aware that they're on a twin flame journey, you share these and you never know. You're helping other people, I think, in that way. Because they may need the message too. Okay. I'm going to end this here. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. I thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, for all of, these, you, all of those who return, my tribe, and for those who are new. Thank you so much. I hope you will return. Okay. Thank you and... Love you. Peace out. Hit that bell button. When I put out new videos, you will see it. Bell. Bell. Subscribe. Bell. Okay. I'm going. Bye-bye. Peace out. <laughs>